Hello my crafting friends, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with a video to show you an, an alternative project or card for the July 2018 paper pumpkin kit called Picnic Paradise. So let's go ahead and get started because it's a lot of little components and I've done some things in advance and I'm just using mainly all of the only products from the actual kit with the exception of a card base um, which is a poppy parade from scored I mean it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth and a piece of very vanilla regular card stock which is five and a fourth by four so I have that and I think this is a scrap piece that I don't really need and just pieces from the actual kit so basically what I have done and move some of this stuff out of the way what I've done uh, what I want to make is a card and I have taken the actual basket the long portion of the basket you know it folded up like that it was four sides I took the long side of the basket off and I just cut it off the card but uh, the basket base and I also have a piece which was the actual handle so I took the handle and pretty much basically we just cut it in half so I have that so let's see so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to do a little bit of stamping and we might as well get that out of the way so I'm going to take the uh, soft suede and the sentiment I'm going to use today is the it says uh, for you I have a scrap piece of card of very vanilla which measures I think it's like three and a fourth uh, inches by two inches and I'm just going to right in the middle and that's all the for the sentiments that I'm going to use and I'll set that aside right over there I'm gonna use that in a moment so what I would like to do is actually some um, distressing a lot of this just gonna go around do you remember the time remember there's a phase when everybody was doing this and then it kind of stopped a little bit and then it comes back so yeah I'm just gonna distress the very vanilla and most of the other pieces as well I'm gonna do that afterwards the handle gonna do that I'll just stamp off I don't want it to look like really uniform I kind of want it to look like uh, as if there are some um, shading to it like it was dirty distressed antiqued looking I'm gonna do the same for the, the basket base I'm gonna go all the way around there's some things I did in advance and some things that I didn't but because it was taking a little bit of time so even with that I'm just gonna go over the front and it brings out the little you can't really see it when it's not colored it brings out the little basket weave feel to it just all over top part doesn't really matter and I have taken the fruit the blueberry I'm just gonna go around the edges and the I don't know if you remember but there is a uh, there is a spot where that part of the blueberry would come out to show like the uh, where it hangs onto the vine I've put tape on the back a small piece of clear tape on the back just to keep that little piece in because I don't want it to come out and as far as the strawberries I've backed it with just a little scrap piece of uh, black cardstock because I want the seeds to actually look like they're black like like an actual strawberry and I'm gonna do the size of this as well and just a little bit on top because it's a fresh picked strawberry so it's not really pristine I've done the same thing with the uh, large strawberry go around the edges anything that was cut because I don't want any white edges and we're gonna go around that be careful with that and a little bit on the 
one is strawberry and the other one as well and the apple now what I did for the apple there's a little piece that comes out I left that in with the look with the tape and I used a little bit of the white chalk marker from Stampin' Up and um, I left that in now I really don't need to do the bottom part because it's not going to show I just do the top portion and again just a little distressing that's not going to show some even though that was a bit too much um, I think that's it no I'm going to set this aside now I oh, this is one of our new punches it's a triple punch and I can't remember the name of it but I'll put the name of it on the on the screen for you and on this punch it has a, a corner rounder so I'm just going to set that inside and round the corners I'm going to flip it over to get all four sides And move that out of the way and you see it's rounded so then I'm just going to take this and distress this around there as well and then I think the next part we're just going to put the actual card together so let me move this out of the way move the ink out of the way okay so I guess we can start assembling it I think I have everything if not we'll go back to it I'm going to fold the card in half where I'm burnished on the score line and we're just going to place this down I was going to use a uh, whisper white as the background but it was a little too stark white for me and I didn't really want that uh, so I toned it down a little bit by using the very vanilla. And I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on here and set that aside. Now we can start building our card. So here is the basket piece and I've also put a piece of our tearing tape at the very bottom and on the sides here. I didn't put any on th these sides because it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to kind of round it a little bit. I want the basket to have a little bit of a dimension. Not much. Okay, so you can kind of see it's not it's a little bit rounded. So, what I'm going to do is take a bit of the gingham and I'm going to tape it down on both sides I'm not gonna use much tape but just a little bit and I'm gonna do that again have two of them so that this one I'm going to tape down as well I'm going to leave the top one uh, untaped. Well, I mean, just a tad right there. Just a tad. And if it comes up, that's fine. Okay. So, now we're going to build our little basket. But first, we are going to put right in the center a little adhesive. This is our basket top. Or a handle, I mean. Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm off off camera. And one thing that I wanted to do, this is blueberry bushel, this color. So I'm taking a blueberry bushel stamp and write marker. It's one of our end colors, and that little portion where it is cut out, like there's a little hole right there. I'm gonna color that in. I left that in, and I'm just gonna color it in just slightly with the stamp and write marker. It's not gonna be perfect, and I don't want it to be perfect. I just want to give it a little bit of color just so you know it's like almost like a um did I have one or two? I thought I had two. And you're saying it's right over there, it's right there. Oh, there it is. I know it's somewhere. 
Okay, I'm just going to color that in. Like that. Oops. Forgive me, it is late and I should be in bed because I need to get up early in the morning. But, I wanted to finish this video for you all. So let me go ahead and finish uh, putting it together. And I, some of the ones I did use a little bit of... Uh, the dimensionals, but I really don't need to have that. So I'm going to start building it up. And I'm just going to layer... layer them in here and then I'm going to do the apple next like that then I want a strawberry kind of in the front right there then I want another blueberry maybe right in here and then the final strawberry and have that around there sort of like that Then I'm going to, I don't think I need my uh, blue dots. And I'm going to cut one of these in half. And this one I think I'll put behind here. And this one I'll put behind a strawberry and I'll do oh I've got to make cut this one as well and I'll put this one behind the other smaller strawberry I can fit there like that the back is already sticky so I don't have to worry about that and I think I'll get a whole one for the apple and I can put these aside, I, I believe. Oops, got paper on it. And I'm gonna stick that down like that. And then I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to take the tearing tape off if I can and then we'll stick that down on our card right in the middle kind of center it a little bit and we are just about done I'm going to put this for you right about here and one other thing that I wanted to do let's see I'm gonna cut this off right even with that oh well, not really even I want it a little bit down and I'm just gonna put a little oops a little touch of blue and then the last thing that I'm going to do is use my Wink of Stella and just give it a little bit of color a little sparkle let's see do I have the right one well, I might not have the right one out let's see here Oh, this is a little bit better. So I'm just going to put the Wink of Stella on here. And that'll be it, my friends. We'll finish the whole card up. And there you have it. 
a bushel of berries and fruits for someone that you like. And now this will be really, really good because it's berry season right now. Let's see if that's, yeah, there we go. And there you have it. I believe that's all I have. Up, oh, one last thing. I tied a little bow. And we'll put a bow right there. So there you have it. Cute little card that you can give someone. Now what I'll probably do, <coughs> excuse me, probably will do is, I'll, is that I'll probably will, um, I'm going to put it in, uh, uh, oh, uh, phew, words have lost, lost me. I'm going to put an inside, a, a very vanilla inside uh, here as well so that I can write my sentiments, my little letter that I'm going to send to somebody. But I probably will put like a, um, a little gift card so they can go ahead and purchase some fruits. So I did that in the uh, Granny Apple Green and here it is in the Poppy Parade. But just a fun quick card that you can use using most of the elements from the kit in case you didn't really want to make the little note cards from the kit. But there you have it everyone. And thank you so much for stopping by. I'll be back real soon with some more videos for you. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com. If you like the video and the projects, please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below because I really do love to hear from you. Share it out and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll be back soon with another video.